Life of Agony hail from Brooklyn in New York and last year released their acclaimed debut album, River Runs Red. That record basically exploded out of the gate and uh, put the band on the map overnight. The band's style is rooted in the hardcore scene of their home city. Life of Agony, badass band. One of my all-time favorite bands, actually. They were destined to do great things. And they f the whole career up. There was this mysterious singer that had disappeared. We've been best friends our whole life. That's real family. Keith Caputo was a very angry, closed up type of person. What's the matter, Keith? I was an introvert. I didn't want people looking at me. It was a lot of scary times. And everybody was violent. It was chaos. These are all lost years. You can't get them back. He didn't know the mother overdosed on the couch. My poor mother, she didn't get to live. He didn't know that her father was a drug addict. Pulling needles out of his hand was horrific. And those things affected me personally because we were so close. That aggression, you got it out through the music. You could feel the momentum of the band just growing and growing. It was frightening, overwhelming. And that all went away in one day. Keith left the band. There is no Keith. I knew this femininity was raging. I didn't want anyone else to see it. All the metal sites jumped on the news. There's a lot of people that will never get it. Stop looking at me like I'm a freak. The transsexual, completely proud of it. There's a vibration that they're giving off on those records that just connect with people. That connection is what Life of Agony is all about. It's impacted people's lives. It feels kind of cosmic.